So I started uh, working on this photo backdrop, right about, you can see right about here, from here to here. And it's a series of images I've gotten off of uh, the internet and uh, printed on a color laser printer, put 3M uh, transfer tape on the back and then stuck on the wall. Now I ran into a couple problems and I need to fix them. Uh, for one thing, if you can see it, this is a little wavy here, which means there's no adhesive on the back of the original uh, cloud backdrop to the wall. So it's made a little bit of a bubble and you can sort of see it and it catches the light, uh, which is really annoying. So you could see the wave in the paper and it doesn't look great. Uh, the second problem is that building here, from here up, by the way, this was two separate images I put on two different times. So I did this one first and then the taller one uh, later. Um, but the taller one uh, is too, too opaque. Uh, I need to make it a little bit more transparent and um, set it back so it looks like it's further in the distance in the haze. It's just standing out way too much. Uh, it's too prominent and I want the focus up front here. The backdrop is supposed to be just the backdrop. Uh, it's not that important, but it just needs to be there and sort of seen, but not seen. So what I've done is printed out a second one and I changed the opacity on the, in the software in Photoshop. Uh, you can reduce it from, you know, 100 to zero and I'm um, down to 40% here. So I'm hoping that looks a little better in the haze. Uh, so I'm gonna remount that with some adhesive tape but I also need to solve the problem of uh, the backdrop behind the back photo, uh, behind the photo to get that bubble away. So I don't know if you can see it in the camera. You hear that little crackle, that's the bubble. So what I need to do is get some glue back there. And to do that, I'm going to slice as much of this as I can and pull it back and see, it's not, it's not stuck to the wall at all. So I'm cutting through the photo and the cloud backdrop at the same time. There we go. So now I have access to the back. And what I'm gonna do is get some glue there. And I've got a little brush with some white glue, slightly diluted with water. Okay, now we have access to the back again. Uh, if we can lift this up, we can, we will. Yep. Let's grab this back, get some glue in there. away a little bit. It's loose there too. And if I can get my brush under the backdrop anywhere else, I'm just going to shove it in there and get as much glue as possible. And fold it back, press it in real good. So even if I wasn't changing the opacity issue, uh, that's a good way to repair any kind of bubble like that. It's just to cut it, peel it back, get some glue back there, and then hopefully for a while it'll stay put. Yeah, this, this one too. Let's just, while we're here, might as well fix what we can. some glue there. So I'll just show you here. Uh, this is, uh, I'm actually an Adobe Illustrator. Uh, you can also do this in Photoshop. Uh, here is my image. Uh, it's, of course, uh, flipped so I could fit it on the paper. 
But uh, if you look up here, you've got opacity, and we can change that, and we can just make it a little less opaque and a little faded, and that's about 40, so that's what we're trying, and we're going to print that and uh, see how that looks. Uh, so one of the issues uh, is going to be to get that to match that roof line. There's a little uh, shed on top of that roof above the cornice. It goes like that, and then down, and then across is to match the paper, uh, cut the paper to match that. So we need to print this one out again, put it on top of that, and then sort of trace uh, based on what we've already done so it lines up perfectly. So that's what we're going to have to try to do. So the first thing we're going to do is get some adhesive uh, transfer tape on the back of this guy. Um, and we want to... We want to just tape the areas we need. We can just sort of block that out. And this is our 3M transfer tape. Uh, this is transfer tape number 465. So I've got a new blade in my uh, X-Acto knife. Don't use an old blade. Uh, don't cheap out on the blade in this part. You'll really regret it. Uh, it's just going to lead to bad cuts and, and problems. Uh, so if you notice, uh, there's lots of little outcroppings on the structure here and this and that. Uh, some of them I'll keep. Some of them I'll just get rid of. Um, some you won't even notice if they're missing. So now this is a print of our lower section, and we need to cut this out as well. So essentially we have something like that. So now I'm just going to go take a look at the layout and see where this lines up uh, so we can trace this and get an exact cut. Sorry for my arms in the front of the camera a lot. It's a really hard spot here. I'm going to, oops, we're missing a piece of building there. That's interesting. Uh, we'll have to fix that later. I'm going to put that there. It kind of lines up. And then this one is our bottom layer, which is really our forward layer, which is right about there. So I'm going to tape that. And then I can take this away. So now I could use this as a template to trace the front layer. Okay. Now there was a little section of building missing that I chopped off. Oh, there it is. Okay. So we're gonna have to cut this little guy out later and uh, put him on top of that. But let's deal with this first. Just double check this. That's straight. And we could check this while we're here. Hopefully that's close enough. Looks about right. Might be some gaps and we might overlap a little bit, but that should be okay. Let's go back to the layout. <laughs> Not perfect, but would you know it if you didn't know that gap was there over here? I don't know. So I'm taking my backing off here. So I'm going to start from the bottom 
Hopefully I get it in the right spot. Well, there's some darker spots up here where I didn't uh, cover. And I'm wondering if I could just hit it with some white paint in a sloppy way to hide it. Uh, we're definitely going to fix that little guy right there. But I already like it better as far as the opacity and it not standing out as much. And actually now looking at it from here, I think those bits are negligible. I don't even know if I would do anything about it, but I'm definitely going to fix the spot right there. So I've got this little piece from the other print, and I'm going to cover that up. That should line up perfectly. That hides that. Nice. So already that's a, a good fix. Um, I like the opacity of this layer of, of buildings. Uh, actually, I think of the future I might go down to 30% I might have to set a guideline uh, for any pictures in a certain distance uh, if it's you know this layer here this can be a hundred percent but anything back uh, a little further should be about 30% this was 40 I'm gonna go to 30 uh, I do have one more section uh, over here that needs to be done so I'm gonna show you how to do that right now uh, so I've got this mess of photos I've taken off of Google, and these are the pictures I've been using in this backdrop. Uh, and the one I want to connect to is right here. And what I need to do is scale it so the window size and everything looks just right. And I fill the amount of space as well. So this is probably in the same plane, actually, as this layer. So the windows should sort of be the same. I'm just going to shrink this down a bit. Kind of looks like they could be next to each other. Close enough. Now I have the size right. Uh, and then the distance I'm covering is about six inches. So I also want to make sure I have enough coverage. So I'm making a six inch box, which is about right and I'm putting them next to this section right here. So is that uh, gonna work? Maybe I want a little higher? Okay. Uh, now, the other question is, should I change the opacity? Uh, I don't think so because it's in line with those other foreground buildings. Uh, this stuff is in the back. If anything, I should have reduced the opacity on this when I did it, but I'm not gonna change that. It still looks a little further than distance. So this is what I want. So I'm just gonna print this that that looks pretty good so before I go through the trouble of uh, putting double-sided tape on it and cutting it out we'll just do sort of a quick check this way stick in right there that looks about right and perfect okay so I've already put my 3m tape on the back now we need to just cut this guy out. Uh, for the most part, he's pretty simple. Let's get this guy out of the way for the moment. Do another quick test. That looks good. Peel off the backing. Try not to fall onto anything fragile here. Get behind the building there. I'm gonna overlap this a little bit. Get my arm out of the way. Hope to hell that's straight. I think it is. There we go. Okay. This is a temporary piece right there until we keep going. Uh, 
Uh, so I hope you can see uh, it's pretty easy to fix a backdrop uh, mistake like that. Uh, and I really think uh, deciding on the layers of opacity uh, for buildings in different distances uh, makes a big difference. And uh, of course, you can also find all these images on Google. Uh, if you're doing something specific like I am, like New York, uh, it's great to get buildings that are specific to your region. Uh, so it's as prototypical as possible. Thanks to our Patreon supporters. Uh, if you want to see more content every day, uh, we post once and twice a day. Uh, we also do an exclusive video we only show on Patreon. Uh, we hope to see you there. And if you're looking for a kit for your layout or your diorama, check us out at fosskits.com. We have over 100 kits to choose from. Uh, hopefully you'll find something you like. Thanks for watching.